Hello everyone, I'm Mariam Pierban, writer and director of Dandelion Season, the feature film that we got this respectful, amazing award for Social uh, Impact Award in, for bringing uh, the female voice that they are fighting for empowerment regarding the uh, Persian women. Thank you very much for having me and thank you very much for the opportunity. Regarding to the three questions, I am from Iran. Uh, I filmed this uh, feature film in Los Angeles. It was an amazing journey and it was an amazing experience because it was a multicultural uh, production team. We had crew members from eight different countries and eight different <laughs> cultures from Native American to Persian, Egyptian, Italian, uh, you know, mm, uh, all around the world we had uh, crew members. Uh, so it was a beautiful journey. Um, how the production went is a good question. <laughs> For me as a director, it was an amazing experience because I want to mention it um, this way. Sometimes, you know, filmmaking language everywhere is the same. Sometimes in specific uh, parts in uh, during the shooting especially, Things are different in different uh, countries in cinema, so it, it, it was uh, it was a challenge to make everything uh, smooth and beautiful, and uh, we worked we worked together perfectly. We had uh, Persian, you know, the story was uh, from a female uh, POV. It it was about a female protagonist uh, from Iran who fights for um, what she wants, fights for empowerment. In the situation that they arranged a marriage for her she is from a conservative family but she fights for uh, something bigger and must to must uh, something that she must be something that she want to say uh, she she wants to be effective and have impact in the society through a specific way and we it was beautiful we had a goha khairadish from iran she's a superstar from iran uh, we had Hannah Nashashani from Iran, and we had uh, a bunch of so many other uh, amazing actors, just like uh, Rudy Youngblood from Mel Gibson, Apocalypto from Hollywood, uh, and uh, also we had uh, Sayed Badria from from Egypt, and and uh, a bunch of other uh, amazing professional actors uh, from different countries. Uh, regarding to the next question. Uh, Yes, <laughs> this question, coronavirus and pandemic time, uh, regard re related uh, directly to this uh, movie, The Underlying Season. I was at the ending of the shooting that this happened. And for the whole uh, process for post-production, I went through this pandemic time. So it was a beautiful new challenge for me. I never afraid of that, but I, I was ready to take danger for the new experience. And... Um, just <laughs> it was uh, started with uh, with a um, tough time uh, editing with me in Los Angeles and my uh, editor in Iran. It worked, you know. I want to say that maybe I can say that Iran is the worst country that you want to work uh, through with internet because usually the government shut down the internet and we have uh, all the time problems with that and we never have uh, enough reception. So just imagine me here in Los Angeles and uh, my editor in Iran, we wanted to edit a whole feature film. It, it was uh, challenging, but we uh, found uh, technical solutions for that. Uh, and... Um, for first, <laughs> for the first time, I had to uh, sit and learn uh, the better the software because I was sometimes I needed after uh, after the the rough cut for every individual cut in my movie. I am so serious, and this editor that I am working with, he is so serious as well. So we just wanted to show each other what we mean. I needed to go through the software myself and, and do that. It was a beautiful challenge. And after the pandemic, we got used to it. We got used to everything remotely. Everyone in the industry right now, 
uh, knows how to work remotely after this forcefully experience. Before that, if someone told us, hey, let's edit a movie, you in another country, editor in another, another country, I mean, didn't accept that easily, you know. But um, this forcefully situation changed things in cinema in a very good way somehow. Um, after the pandemic, like for example, this recent movie that I was invited to direct is a vertical, it, 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 the name is Vertical. It's a fully Spanish language film and uh, I was invited to direct it after that. My uh, editor was the same editor. My Now I'm in Los Angeles and the sound designer is uh, in Mexico. My uh, music uh, team uh, were in Roma in Italy and, you know, in, in different places. So everyone right now know how to deal with things uh, in cinema remotely. And things technically um, created for this. We are going through... Um, a big change regarding to our job and this industry. What was the third question? Oh, what I think the cinema and uh, movie making is for the society. I would love to draw your attention to um, the award that we got, a social impact award. Why? for bringing Persian women voices to the screen. For me, all the time, from the first day that I was uh, about to put my first step in this industry to be a filmmaker, was I wanted to find my language to say things. I wanted to have an impact, even if the small one. And I, somehow I did. Uh, I was witness many times to change that happened after my movies. Some of them were because uh, I was a special uh, working on a special uh, subject with documentary. Yes, that was special. And after my documentary, of course, change had to happen. But sometimes through my stories, through my feature films, through my feature short films, uh, or TV shows that I had, I wanted to create a change. And uh, usually with the help of the whole crew members that helped that something uh, be created in, a, in the best way, we were successful. For me, uh, cinema and filmmaking is one of the most important things in the world. Just uh, think about what's happening right now in Iran. Everything is shut down and uh, they have very little access to internet. They have very little access to bring their voices out of Iran. But of course, visually, through a story, you can be uh, their voices. Uh, and this is the impact of filmmaking to the society because everyone's sitting in their home uh, they maybe many of them do not willing to go through many different books to read, but all of them want to see a very good movie. And you can say things, messages, education, you know, mind changing wins uh, through your films. This is uh, what I want. This is what I meant. Uh, this is what I think about being a filmmaker. Thank you.